Welcome to 304 Customs Garage. In this episode, we're going to be covering a topic of brakes, rotors, and brake parts for our 488 rear end that we're installing in this V8 S10 swap. If you haven't seen our last couple videos, please go check those out and you'll see how we got to this point on the build. So in the end goal for this video is to have the wheels and the truck able to set on the garage floor with its own weight finally and off the jack stands. We've made a lot of progress on this. This is one more thing off the list. Let's jump into it. Okay, so for our project here that we're working on in this video, these are basically the parts that we're going to be using. First of all, drill and slider rotors, Summit Racing, I believe I filtered it out for like a 2000 Ford Explorer, Power Stop, powder coated uh, stock style brake calipers. Uh, we did get some ceramic pads from a local parts store. We're just going to be using street truck, so no need for so fancy things on this yet. Part number for those brake calipers it comes with one new and, or sorry, one left, one right, new, according to this. S4604 is your part number for that. Of course, we got new brake hoses for the calipers. And then, of course, the driver's side has the part that hangs down, goes to the distribution block over to the passenger side. And since we left the factory brake line under the cab all the way to the factory rear, and we're going to be using that still, we had to get this fitting here. And there's your number. This fitting, you can see that, allows us to adapt the Chevy brake line under the cab frame, whatever you want to put it, to the 488 hoses. You all can see that. This does work, and we'll show you in the video here in a second how this works. So, that's what we have here. Oh, and before I forget, to go from the distribution block over to the passenger side caliper hose, we acquire this nice stainless hose that'll look pretty under there. Then I'm going to cut and flare to length after we figure out what length we need. So with all this stuff here, I'm going to jump over here and get this set up. And then we're going to get the caliper and the rotors on. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the rotor on. And now what we're going to do is put the caliper on. I will note something I've noticed on these little 88 brakes. Is there's like a hook part in the pad on the part that needs to go up. And then these bottom pieces have like a straight, but then a hook at the bottom, top. So I'm assuming that these probably need to go in first on this side, like this. And then these should go in like that. Simple enough. Then we'll just put our bolts in. These one, I'm not sure what size these are, maybe eight, 10 millimeter. So after we get these in, We'll go ahead and do the other side, tighten these up, and then we'll jump into some brake hose. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so up next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece here that goes into the little bracket here on the off the frame for the brake line here. And we're going to take our little fitting here. Just go ahead and screw that in for now. And then from there, what we're going to do is take that through here. Now, I believe this only goes in a certain way because of the way it's cut, but it'll fit through there. So I'll take that through your little frame piece there. Spin this around until we get it to where it needs to be. And we have it through. We're going to take our Chevy brake line. Start that into here. Then we're going to take our flare brake line wrench and tighten up a little bit. And then, I 
actually dropped it, but there's a clip here. It goes on this bottom piece and holds this up. And there you have it. Again, that piece that I used was this one here. For anyone that's curious. And that should adapt your Chevy brake line here, adapter to the Ford brake line. So now we're going to make our brake line. I need to go rob the banjo bolt for the calipers off the old calipers. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I go to make the brake line, as I just mentioned, and I realized that I didn't have any tabs to hold the brake hose coming out of the calipers on the rear end. So I had a scrap piece of metal laying in the back of the garage, a little thin piece like 12 gauge steel. And what I did was I cut it in the sections and I bent it over to make an L shape and I used this brake hose coming off the caliper for a template to know where to drill the hole. I just laid it on the steel and placed it on the rear right where I wanted it. And then I marked it with a Sharpie and I made a brake tab or a brake hose line holder like that. And then I just tack welded it kind of like you would with, when you do body work, sheet metal. Just tack here, go to the other side, tack, let it cool, come back. Did that. And now I have a holder to hold this brake hose on. And... It fits good so far for how I'm wanting to. You see, this is just some 5 16 bolts. Uh, nothing special. It is a grade 8 bolt, but it's just what I had. So it happened to fit. So that's what I'm going to use. Then you just put it on there. something to tighten that up with and then we're going to make our brake hose so we'll be right back okay so wrapping up everything we did here in the video we got the rotors the drilled slider rotors from summit racing ceramic brake pads from the parts store power stop powder coated 488 brake lines for an explorer we got new brake hose we made a little mounting tab for the brake hose on the rear end tack welded it on finally welded it all the way on remember slow tack go somewhere else let it cool off come back i did that fluid in here so i didn't want to heat the rear end up by just running straight beads on the side of the little tab there that i made so that's how i did it we put the stainless brake line on new fittings stretch it across the rear i have a little hose clamp there to hold the brake line on top of the rear it's not touching anywhere and then we did the same thing on the other side a little tab hose new ford hose up to chevy brake line with the chevy ford uh fitting whatever you want to call that weatherhead fitting or brake line adapter to be able to use the chevy brake line to the ford rear brake lines that's everything we got aside from cleanup right now the only thing I have left to do is to go over here and get these wheels. We'll get those on here and see how much clearance we got and make sure everything fits up good. And then we'll be done the suspension. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the wheels on finally. 15 by 10 wheels, 275, 60, 15 drag radials is what we're running on the back. As you see, the cow tracks, eh, it's low, but... There's good enough clearance on there for the street. You can, they do make a low profile one too, but these ones will be fine. And of course we got all of our brake stuff wrapped up. In the last couple videos we worked on the rear. Pinion angle is still the same from we did a couple videos ago. That's always a plus. Just need to do the adjustments on the cow tracks eventually. Once we get the truck ready to go on the road. And then one other thing I wanted to show you is might be kind of hard to see on camera but there's what kind of gap you get with the 275 60 with a short side path or driver 
axle cut on the Ford 88 rears. Yeah, it's about an inch or so. It doesn't look like it on camera, but there's more there than it looks like. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Please take the time to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying any of this content. Tires are a little dirty. Would it really be 304 West Virginia Customs Garage if it didn't have some kind of grass clippings and dirt on the drag radios already? Of course not. But that's going to wrap things up for tonight. Check out one of these other videos. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.